everyone, it's Lucky Nuffy here. Um, I'm here today to really talk about uh, how a lot of new players, uh, especially uh, I can tell from Reddit, uh, that are new to Naraka and are just kind of lost <laughs> into how they learn Naraka and just a lot of the core mechanics are kind of glossed over. Um, now, in Naraka, there is uh, a lot of little mechanics that are kind of not skipped. They are in the specialist uh, specialized tutorial inside the game. Uh, but the problem is, uh, the core details are not there, unfortunately. Um, so the best way to really learn the game, uh, is to do two things. And that is to put yourself into researching and joining communities to learn how to best learn the game. Now, there's a few things that you have to learn in a certain order in order to really learn Naraka properly. Now, the very first thing that you should be doing as a new player, or, you know, this is even for people that have been playing for a little while or since free-to-play launch, right, um, is I highly recommend you to watch uh, my optimal settings guide. And this will not only go through, like, graphical settings, but it will also go through like controller settings, uh, also uh, settings you should turn off, turn on, uh, and pick up settings, all that type of stuff uh, in order to make your experience in Naraka as seamless as possible. Now, the very first thing, this playlist has been reordered and reorganized and been updated completely so that all the information here is relevant and up-to-date in order to learn the game uh, at your best pace. So the very first thing that you really should be learning in Naraka is movement. So um, Frost of Us has a guide here uh, on how to learn to move well in Naraka. It's very important that you have... Um, certain settings and this is this has gone over in my settings guide to optimize your movement uh and have certain habits when you're moving in order to best optimize your movement this be it stamina usage this be learning how to focus dash or what the point is of focus canceling sliding crouch scale rushing all these little things and he goes over all that in three minutes right so I highly recommend you to go over that now the next important thing to learn is to learn how to scale rush because there are so many people who don't know that scale rushing is a thing i've seen so many new players um going back to movement they move by double jumping over and over again. I've seen Asura players do this, like console Asura players do this. And I'm just like, that's that's not how you move. That's such a slow way to move, right? So scale rushing, this, this is like a minute long video telling you to turn on ceiling interaction. And it teaches you scare rushing, right? Scare rushing is uh, very uh, important. And it's a core part of naraka especially in terrain that lets you scale rush right so the next thing you need to learn beyond everything in combat because this is a combat melee centric game is hold checking so the hold checking is holding focus and seeing what your opponent does in order to decide if you're going to release the focus or do something different right so Heaven, or aka Penmu, he has a guide on this, you know, releasing at certain, you know, intervals, why you, you should in release at certain times, how to do what you should do in solos and trios, and how to counteract people that hold, overhold or overextend their focus, right? So that is about seven minutes. It's really worth your time. Now... 
coming from the same person. Heaven has a overall, and I really recommend watching this, especially if you're struggling in fighting, how to fight people in depth, right? Like another seven minute guide. It really helps you understand how you're supposed to fight people and how you have to negotiate your fights, what neutral is, how you shouldn't be tunneling, all these type of little things. And he goes over all those mechanics in this little seven minute, you know, tech chasing, blue focus attack, parries and execution, and you know, how we are supposed to get better at combat and clean up your inputs and all that type of stuff, right? And to follow up on that, this one's a more in-depth video, right? And definitely watch this after you've picked up those core mechanics of movement um, and to expand your combat, right? So this is a 15-minute video. Um, it, go, it goes over everything, right? Um, how you move around the map, how you're fighting people, like just tons of tips. And I really recommend you to learn this. Now, the final thing you're supposed to learn in Naraka is combos. And I, and I tell people this, that combos are the last thing you learn in any fighting game because they don't help you in the long run. They help you deal as much damage as possible off of, of a launch, which is an uppercut. Um, and that's important. But if you're neutral and your movement and your game sense is poor... It won't matter if you can heaven step somebody or if you can touch a death somebody and kill them off of one hit. Because if everything else sucks, that won't be helpful. So it's very important you learn all these other things first before you get into like combos. Now, however, this beginner guide from Cyclops, and I have three videos essentially from Cyclops uh, covering combos because he's a combo enthusiast, right? But... The important thing about combos is you have to understand how every combo works, right? So understanding the basics of it, what DI is, which is directional influence, because the influence of either your stick or your keyboard uh, direction, you know, WASD or your left stick or your right stick, right? That uh, dictates your direction of your attacks, especially on controller, there's a setting where you can dictate the controller uh, input where the stick dictates your melee attack. And on uh, keyboard and mouse, A and D is the key part or like no inputs at all to dictate your directional input and influence where the attack comes out, right? And then of course the addition of grappling, how ping is a factor, right? Uh, toothpicking, weapon swapping, and other extensions, right? <clears throat> and then he goes over every like basic combat. This is these are all about a month old, right? So when free to play essentially came out, some of them are a little older, but all those uh, older videos they still cover like uh, all the uh, eccentric parts of it. Oh, I just skipped over something, but it's okay. We'll go. We'll go backwards now there you can expand on your com we'll go backwards something that i just skipped i'm sorry about that but definitely before you go into the combos um learn how dodging works um this this dodge guide is still irrelevant because it only covers the dodges right so there's no there's no changes uh at all really on how dodge mechanics work um so trago codes over all of this and it's very important to learn how to manage your stamina and dodging because it's a very core part of how you avoid certain focus attacks, certain attacks, right? Uh, be it ducking, right? Rolling, dodging, tap dodging, hold dodging, all those type of things, right? Now, let's go to parries. Now, I always tell people parries is not a reliable thing. It's reliable if somebody does a raw focus, right? Or like it's a telegraph focus. However, because ping is, if you see someone with an orange or red bar, you got to try go for a parry that's either earlier or later or not even go for it at all, right? Because that's someone's that's lagging and their focus is going to come out later or earlier than it's supposed to. And it, it's, your parry is just not going to register, right parries are 
probably the biggest habit that you have to get into that you have to parry at very precise reactions on what your opponent is doing right so this guide it's it's nine months old but it still has um all the parries that you need to know um it it will probably say that quick parry um yeah it probably say that quick parry is viable right um and it's it's quick parry is something that you will use regardless and you have jump parry crouch parry regular crouch parry scissor parry dodge parry wake up parry right and it'll teach you about recovery and counter strikes and weapon differences and obviously how latency plays into a, a factor of your parries right and that is probably the last thing all these other guides are like stuff like uh how realm of yang works uh, i have a guide on how to deal with transformers um you know a breakdown on how posard works and uh tip on eurasia and like other little things that you can take a look at a range fall off hidden mechanics all that kind of stuff so that's like there is a wealth of information. I highly recommend you search by last four or five months, right? Three months because, or even like one month old, because in terms of YouTube uh, Naraka content, be just because of how rapidly changing the game is, majority of the mechanics have not changed, but there are a lot of out of date guides, especially the higher viewership um, from OSK and HK Boba. Um, those guides are woefully out of date. And they're just not useful because so much has changed to the game. The game gets patched almost every month for almost two to three weeks, right? So that is very important to note when you're trying to do research on certain guides. Um, the, I'll put a list of YouTubers um, and probably like this list of this playlist of all these YouTubers, all their other guides and all their other information, as long as it's within the last three months or if it's not like something that has changed too much, like for example, Trago's dodge mechanics or like core combat mechanics from Penmu, then those are still usable. So the other thing that if you want specific hero and weapon, like overall guides, uh, Naraka themselves about a month ago had commissioned a bunch of uh, Naraka partners to make all those uh, hero guides of every character. And these are all updated and relevant Although there are patches and balance changes and the characters will change eventually, the core uh, tutorials are up to date. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a uh, up-to-date tutorial and weapon guide to watch these videos. And uh, these videos are very helpful in order to get a broad and basic understanding of how every character works, especially as a free-to-play or new player, you are deciding what kind of character you want to try to gravitate towards to or how certain characters play. Um, I th will eventually, because I haven't seen a lot of this uh, matchup guides of how to combat or fight against certain characters. The only issue with making matchup guides is, like I said before, the game is rapidly always changing. So all these mechanics and all how care how certain characters plays, they could be nerfed heavily, rehauled, or changed, right? Um, but it's more useful to learn universal tips and uh, how to fight certain characters. I do have like a transformer guide, like anti-transformer guide on how to fight certain transformers. But uh, in the end, you're trying to figure out how these characters work themselves you can even play all the characters in training mode to try them out and yeah so definitely those are two resources like youtube especially i, I will link the playlist in the description below um, to kind of understand how the game functions and how you should be learning the game right so just once again you want to learn movement right you want to learn how dodging works you want to learn how scare rushing it works you want to learn how neutral works and then you want to learn how combos work and then you want to learn how parrying works right i always recommend parrying last because it's a simple one singular input right there are certain things you can cancel into to cause the parry but like i said before that is the order 
that you should be learning the game. Now, uh, other resources is if you want live information, there are always some English streamers, right? People uh, like, for example, like Era or Duncan. These are people that, uh, and even if you're non-English, these people have been playing for a very long time, right? So it definitely, uh, I recommend watching some Twitch streamers and asking because either some, either they will know the answer or someone in their chat will know the answer. Um, but it, on Twitch stream, YouTube, Kick, regardless of where they're streaming, it's very uh, useful if you're trying to get live information back. The uh, other thing is uh, come to the Naraka uh, official Discord, which I have linked in the description. And uh, this Discord, uh, it ha I'm a moderator in this Discord, and it has like about 400, I think almost 400,000 members. I don't, I don't remember. I haven't checked in a while. But uh, essentially, you know, be it you in console or PC, it doesn't matter, right? If you're looking for people to play with, if you're trying to look to learn, there is a help and console and Naraka General ch channel, right? And there's also... Uh, LFGs, all that type of stuff, right? If you have any issues or anything like that, there's tons of VCs that are active, right? Um, and if this, regardless of what language you speak or what region you come through, you can definitely be able to find people to play with and learn the game, right? And also just uh, enjoy the game more. And uh, there's community uh, events, tournaments, you know, skin giveaways, all that type of stuff. So I highly recommend using this as a resource. And there's also obviously uh, community discords that are also listed, uh, like community servers, regional servers, be it NA, EU, C, Asia. There's just a wealth of usage through the discords that are helpful in order to navigate learning Naraka. So that is everything i have to say for today i know this went on for a little bit longer than i uh wanted to around uh, so like almost, almost 20 minutes but uh i hope that this information and me over going over what how to learn naraka helps you out a lot um you can definitely hit me up on epal uh, all my coaching is free Right, just make an account there or DM me on Discord and we can set up a custom room. Or I can also recommend Bin Lagan. He does uh, dojos every Monday uh, for NA and EU. He works with a bunch of other uh, community coaches. This is completely free of charge to help teach the community, uh, regardless of a console or PC, uh, how to play the game. Um, I also know how to play on controller. I also work with, uh, uh, because I'm signed to Bladestorm Elite Gaming, we have a lot of console gamers. And uh, we are able to teach you, if you're coming from uh, Xbox or PlayStation, how the game works. So I hope that helps out a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And I will be making more guides down the line. Uh, I'm, I'm making a free-to-play guide, how to maximize uh, getting skins and chests and all that type of stuff and your battle pass. Um, I'm also making a glyph guide. And I'm also making a game sense guide, all these type of little things down the line in September. So uh, be free, free free to subscribe if you want. And I will catch you guys later.